Welcome to Afterlife Topics in Metaphysics. This is Cyrus, and tonight we are talking about Lucille Ball and other Hollywood celebrities uh, continuing to exist just like everybody does in what we call the afterlife and how people have been able to make contact with some of these people. And one of my favorite posts this week to come out of the Afterlife Topics forum. So all that and more coming at you here today on Afterlife Topics and Metaphysics. And uh, before we begin with that, uh, it's one balmy day here in Barcelona, Spain. You know, I was um, uh, actually hoping to go to the beach and check out some of the sights in the city center, but I'm kind of confined to my hostel here in the outskirts. I'm kind of in the mountains. I wanted to get away for about a week and uh, catch up on work, basically. Just focus on basically working and uh, take a little break from all the running around and going from country to country and all that kind of stuff. But I hope the rain quits at some point so I can actually go out and see the city and enjoy the sights and uh, head to the beach and all that kind of stuff. But it is pretty wild here in Spain. I mean, it's a great energy. It's a great vibe here. I have to say it's one of the best vibes I've gotten with all my like traveling around Europe the last couple of months. Uh, the people are full of energy, full of life. Even like the people who usually are not very friendly, like government workers, I've come to find that they're actually exceptionally friendly here in Spain. So it's pretty wild. I really like it. Um, one more thing, as always, I will mention, please go down, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in these kind of supernatural subjects we talk about in this, uh, on this channel. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I understand that. Sometimes people come through here and they don't really... Um, like what they're hearing because it's way too far outside of their spectrum of believability and that's perfectly fine but uh, a lot of us have these experiences and this is the forum this is the community to be able to learn and explore some of these subjects including what we're talking about tonight which um, uh, is a post that popped up on the Afterlife Topics Facebook group very recently, and um, I won't say who posted it because I try to keep some anonymity, but it's pretty obvious if you look at the screen or if you just head to the Facebook group and you'll see it. Um, but let me just pull it up right now. So this was the story by a fellow out-of-body explorer posting on the, on the Facebook group. And so... Keep in mind, he calls this a dream, and I would not call this a dream. I would call this an out-of-body episode. But it's easy to mistake OBEs for dreams and vice versa. And when you explore this topic further, you'll see how it's clearly an astral projection experience. So he says, I want to share a dream I had last night. It may sound far-fetched, but I promise you this dream honestly happened. I was at a Hollywood luncheon and I met Lucille Ball from the I Love Lucy TV show. We had small talk and during our conversation, I asked her what it was like in the afterlife. She told me it was lovely and that she was reunited with a lot of her friends. I asked her about Desi Arnaz and she told me that she reunited with him as well. Although I'm not sure if it was pl platonic or romantic. Basically, the afterlife for her was a continuation of the life she had here on Earth. At the end of the dream, we were being seated, and just as we sat down, Vivian Vance, her friend and co-star from I Love Lucy, sat right next to me. I almost lost the tears and everything, and was in the process of switching seats with Lucy so she could sit next to her, so she could sit next to her, but then I woke up. As I know, it's as I said, it sounds far-fetched, but I've never met Lucille Ball, but yet this indeed happened in my, quote, dream. Are visitations like this possible? Do they have meaning or significance? And so I responded because I, you know, I, um, I heard this story and I did think to myself, well, there is a possibility, of just a slim possibility this could be a, you know, completely, um non-supernatural experience if somebody is like an obs obsessed with um i love lucy but that doesn't seem to be the case um i also thought that you know what are the odds of having an experience with a celebrity of all people if you're on that side you're more likely to have an experience with a loved one and you know why would you be meeting Lu uh, lucille ball so then i did think well is there some kind of connection or rationalization why somebody would have an astral experience with um lucille ball and so I inquired about this, and sure enough, 
Uh, it turns out that this gentleman is an actor and um, is very much connected to that industry. Now it makes perfect sense to me. As somebody who has been li had been living in Hollywood for a while, uh, acting and ac actors and show business is a tight-knit community. And you will meet people that you have a connection with on that level. And often I think we have astral experiences, the ones that we remember are the ones that have the most profound impact. So if we are, for example, starstruck because we are meeting somebody <coughs> who we idolize or admire, I think we're more likely to remember that experience compared to an astral experience where we're on an astral couch eating astral Doritos, which is um, not that I know anything about that. So there are many more ways that this story actually just kept unfolding and got more and more interesting. Um, so as it turns out, um, I don't think I can load up these sub-thread comments because I turned my internet off, but I do have this committed to memory. Um, so as it turns out, uh, this gentleman had, was inquiring about Lucille's uh, husband as well, and he was asking if they're still together, and then Lu uh, Lucy kind of sighed and said, well, you know, you know, he's a British guy, what can you do? Something, something along those lines. And I'm not sure, what the, he said he wasn't sure what that meant, but he didn't know much about um, uh, Lu uh, Lucille's uh, husband, so she, uh, the next, uh, you know, the next day after he woke up, he went on, like, Wikipedia or someplace to look up some information about uh, Lucille Ball. And what came up was information that her husband was, in fact, British. He didn't even know this. And so this confirmed the experience for him because it was objective information that he was able to verify after the experience. And this is a, a, <coughs> a signature of a real astral experience compared to a dream, compared to a lucid dream, is as, as if you're able to bring back verifiable information. For example, if you meet somebody on the astral spectrum and they're speaking Spanish and speaking words that you don't know until you come back to your body and you look them up, or they, other people present facts to your information that you wouldn't have known otherwise. So that's uh, a telltale sign that it's a real experience. And he also inquired about Betty Davis and uh, Lucille said that she also knew Betty Davis on that side there in astral Los Angeles. And uh, they were planning to go to a museum like later that day or that week together. So they were still friends hanging out. And you people watching at home might be wondering, this is really far-fetched. Number one, I thought the afterlife was we were all floating around as orbs of light. So how can you, you know, how can there really be Lucille Ball hanging around some other dimension that, you know, that, that we're visiting with? And to that I say, of course, if you've been watching this channel, if you've read my books, you know how I feel about that. That's not necessarily the case. So what's going on here? One of the reasons I like this story so much is that um, it mirrors my own experiences in astral Los Angeles. So again, we're talking about objective places that people go to that are consistent um, despite you know wh whoever has those experiences. And something I learned from living in Los Angeles and having many, many out-of-body experiences, not necessarily meeting celebrities, uh, deceased celebrities, but still having experiences on that side, is that Los Angeles on that side, it's way nicer than this side. So astral or spirit world version of Los Angeles um, is filled with kind of an art deco style. It's like the golden age of Hollywood never ended. And all these celebrities, you know, dating back to the 1900s, actors and famous film stars, all these people have this love, have this attachment to that world, to that industry, and they're all there making films. Now, I had a neighbor on the astral spectrum. If, if I left my house on the astral spectrum and went down the street, uh, there was a guy living there who worked in film who said he passed away on this side and lives there now. And then he told me that um, they all watch films on that side. They all watch TV shows. They literally have like Netflix on that side. And it's half of it. He said about half of it is film and TV produced on this side. And he says they kind of like pipe in to their side. And then the other half is the, all the stuff that they produce themselves. And then I've also... Uh, listen to music and things like that on that side, which is completely unique and does not exist on this side. Um, so it mirrors my own experiences because we all know, well, rather I know at this point that that's how it is on that side. So, of course, Lucille Ball would still be there, you know, being, being Lucille Ball. And then I also found other out-of-body explorers who have had the same experiences in Astral Los Angeles confirming 
some of the same things I've seen. So it shows you that many different people can have different experiences and it can all kind of match up to um, one, you know, one consistent thing. Um, so that's really exciting. This made this one of the, you know, one of my fav favorite posts this week in the Afterlife Topics community that you guys have helped put together and that uh, is also run by all the admins, all you guys out there who, you know who you are, uh, putting in a lot of work to keep that community going. So always want to give a special shout out to you guys. And, um, you know, allowing these really cool stories, allowing people to come forward with their stories like that, which is great. So, do you have any last thoughts about this? Um, so, uh, th I have no reason to doubt these experiences. One thing, though, is that people think that these are dreams when they're not. So, we, so I mentioned some telltale signs that it was an astral experience. Um, among them is the obtaining of objective information, being in a consistent environment that you cannot s change just using your own mind, using your own willpower, and having a high level of lucid consciousness. So if you're having experiences on that side and maybe you're only able to remember 10% of them, the odds are that the, the ones, the experiences that you will remember will be the ones that really stand out so much that your physical human brain uh, actually is able to process it to carry there's enough energy attached to that experience that you'll get the memory processed back into your brain here on this side and so it's always great when people have these experiences and um, to this contributor I hope that Lucille Ball will continue to work with him from that side and maybe help him out on this side who knows if you like this video then I encourage you to maybe grab a couple of my books like understanding life after death or the afterlife and beyond both are available on Amazon you can find both at afterlifetopics.com or sign up as a patron. You can join our VIP classes where we get special guest interviews, guest interviews that we bring on the show. You can participate, ask them questions, and see the interviews before they come up on YouTube and join uh, twice a week discussions that we do. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash afterlifetopics or go to afterlifetopics.com forward slash university to sign up. If you want to get involved and help this community out uh, help me out help keep this whole thing going always appreciate that all right that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll get you guys on the next one